A number of famed military heroes blasted Lt. Col. Alexander Vindman on Tuesday, calling him prissy, a disgrace, and an operative with an agenda. Vindman on Tuesday earned their scorn for testifying against his commander in chief in uniform before the House Intelligence Committee as part of the Democrats' unraveling impeachment inquisition. Early in the hearing, Vindman tersely corrected Rep. Devin Nunes, RCA, the top Republican on the Intel Committee, when the congressman referred to him as Mr. Vindman. The awkward moment came amid a back and forth over the identity of one of an unnamed official Vindman briefed about President Trump's July 25 phone call with Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky. Vindman's lawyer and House Intel Chairman Adam Schiff DCA, objected to the questioning because they said it would lead to the disclosure of the so called whistleblower's identity. According to Nuna's statement, he said, Mr. Vindman, you testified in your deposition that you did not know the whistleblower. Nunes stated, Ranking member, it's Lieutenant Colonel Vindman, please, the witness scolded. Then for tweets, Sean Davis tweeted, Multiple combat veterans have told me they are livid at this attitude from Vindman, at his use of the uniform as a prop for the cameras, and at his obvious scheming against and insubordination towards his chain of command. Nunes continued to question Vindman about who he had spoken with following Trump's phone call, addressing Vindman by his rank, and Schiff repeatedly interjected to prevent Vindman exposing the identity of the whistleblower. Vindman said that he spoke with two individuals outside the NSC regarding the call, and that both were government employees with a need to know. When asked which agencies they were with, Vindman said he spoke to State Department official George Kent, and an individual in the intelligence community. Left outside the loop was Vindman's immediate supervisor Timothy Morrison, a Europe and Russia expert for the National Security Council, who testified later in the day. When later asked by Rep. Jim Jordan RO, why he didn't go directly to his superior with his concerns, Vindman replied that it was a really busy week. Also, the lawyer told me not to talk to anyone else, and yet you talk to your brother, to George Kent, and a CIA person you won't name. Jordan argued, Vindman has maintained, like Chairman Schiff somewhat unconvincingly, that he does not know the identity of the whistleblower. Multiple military vets made biting comments on Twitter about Vindman during and after his testimony. Tim Kennedy, an active, Green Beret, Special Forces sniper with tours in Iraq and Afghanistan, said correcting a civilian about how to be addressed is for sure a way to make everyone in the military think you're a douchebag. Also, Mark Geist, a member of the heroic annex security team that fought the Battle of Benghazi, Libya, on September 11, 2012, called Vindman a disgrace. In his tweet, Mark wrote, Vindman is a disgrace to all who have served. Transcript of his previous closed door testimony he clearly admits to undermining the at POTUS foreign policy and now he has Chairman Schiff advising him on how to answer questions. Former U.S. Navy SEAL and Special Warfare Operator Robert James O'Neill said Vindman is an operative with an agenda. O'Neill is widely credited with firing the shot that killed Osama bin Laden. Former Navy SEAL Carl Higby called for Vindman to be dishonorably discharged. Higby served two tours of duty in Operation Iraqi Freedom, reaching the rate of Special Warfare Operator, first class. Former U.S. Army Special Forces soldier Jim Hansen called Vindman, Prissy, and the Frank Burns of the NSC, who is hated by everyone in his unit. Legendary Navy SEAL Marcus Luttrell, the lone survivor of a elite four-man operation that went terribly wrong in Afghanistan in 2005, spoke up on Twitter when an Army vet attacked the president's son Donald Trump Jr. I served this country too. Luttrell said. Our job as those in the uniform is to protect those that don't wear it, not to defame them, especially the the first family. Earlier this month, LTC Hickman shared his memories of Vindman's disgraceful behavior in Germany on Twitter and with American greatness. Later, the New York Times published an unfair hit piece on the disabled vet, in an effort to discredit him. LTC Hickman is a wounded warrior who fought in Afghanistan and Iraq and received numerous combat medals, including the Purple Heart. He took medical leave from the service in 2017 due to complications from his injuries. The Times didn't refer to the war hero by his rank a single time in their piece. 
makes me feel like all the harassment I went through was for nothing. Nobody even challenged his partisanship. LTC Hickman. The retired officer told American Greatness that his family has been receiving harassing and threatening phone calls since he decided to come forward with his story. My family and I have endured harassment for over two weeks now because I stepped forward with the truth about Vindman. Today was a let down, and I call on anyone else who's served with him and seen this same partisanship to have the courage to come forward, he said. Truth must be paramount, as there are those trying to malign against the Constitution and the office of the presidency.